what's up guys so um right now what i'm doing is i'm working on making a wiring diagram to get the fic in into the celica and wired into the stock ecu this is a diagram that has been floating around from aem but it's for a 2003 to 2005 which has a different ECU pinout than the 2000 to 2002 which is uh, what my car is so what I've been doing here is this is the 2000 Celica ECU pinout and um, I've just gone through and deciphered what these little abbreviations mean um, and to do that I just used a like Toyota acronym um, key that kind of lists all of the acronyms that Toyota uses for their diagrams and things so using that I went through and labeled as much as I could some of the things I couldn't find but they're not really anything that I need to be worried about um, because they're not anything that the uh, FIC relies on so um, after I labeled them just so I had a better idea what was going on so I went and highlighted all the different connections that I either need to intercept or just tap into with the FIC this is my revised connection list so these are the ones for a 03 to 05 Celica these are being disregarded and here I'm putting in all the new inputs that I need I think what I'm going to do is clean this up, go into my computer and actually make a legit like diagram that I can follow. That way whenever I go in to actually wire it up, everything's clear and I don't have to spend a bunch of time fiddling with stuff and figuring out where things go. So I'm going to do that next and then I will get back to you. What up, GA Stance House, back in the garage. Um, I did finish the wiring diagram for the FIC, but I'm going to hold off on showing that until I make sure it works. But um, I did make a nice like diagram and I'm hoping like as long as everything works, I'll uh, put a link up for your, anyone to be able to access it. Um, but yeah, I'll get into that later. But uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys the finished uh, engine bay shave because I never really made a video on it um, so I need to repolish my uh, valve cover and intake manifold and intake pipe but um, yeah this is the final product or final for now <laughs> Dude, now my car isn't gonna run because of you. Definitely not because I like wired it wrong or something. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. Try again. Oh, oh man, Nick Botson, everybody. First try. All right, so pretty much what I'm getting ready to do here is I'm gonna actually extend this so I have plenty to reroute it to where the ECU is because I'm not planning on. Uh, extending all the wires to the ECU because that would just be a pain to do because there's a lot more than what's involved with this because there's only like 14 wires involved. So I'm going to extend each wire that I need on each of these uh, pigtails here and then I'll probably what I'll do is label these just to make it a little easier and then I'll solder this up to the connections on the ECU. What up? 
Did you guys already do it? Mm -hmm. Dang, I couldn't even get a video of it. Matt just polished this boy up. Not really polished, it was just uh, put a, it was like a, it's like a glass coating. It's like temp clear coat. Nice. I think it lasts like 10 so years this lube's like glass now. Pretty much. Because it's so fragile. If you hit it, it'll probably shatter. Dude, Kay, here's more wheel weight from your car. Yeah, no, they're stuck there. I can't get them on. Yeah. Cade's uh, wheels are unbalanced. How do you feel about that? All right, so as I was saying, uh, I'm just finishing up some of the extensions on the pigtail harnesses. Um, I finished up one yesterday. It's kind of a mess, but once I straighten things up, it'll be pretty simple to follow. Um, but on this harness, I think there might have only been like seven or seven to ten wires that I like needed to extend that I'm actually using. Um, so now I did that one. I think that that was the 24 pin connector off of the FIC and then this one's a 22 pin. So this is the one that I'm going to work on next. And then from there we will wire it into the car. What you did doing? You see that? I was no. Ripping, dude. Oh, oh. oh my. Alright guys, so I finished up extending the uh, FIC harnesses, the pigtails that came with the FIC. So uh, I have all these extended and then any of the wires that I am not using, I just taped them off. And all the ones I extended, I labeled, so just to make my life a little easier whenever I go in to wire it inside. And this is going to be a little tricky because of the way I have my harness routed from the wire tuck. But I'm going to have to kind of cut and solder like back here. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, two of the plugs are short. Like, so this is all the further they're inside the firewall. The other two, uh, they kind of are a little longer so I can unplug them and like work. Uh, work with them out here so that will be a little nicer but um, yeah it's going to be a little bit of a pain just like soldering and stuff in this cramped little space but it should be nice and I made the wires long enough so that it can kind of route in the long and then I can put the FIC uh, down here in the glove box so it's nice and tucked away and neat and once the dash and everything's back on you won't even be able to see it and it'll still give me really easy access to it so I can plug it into my laptop to tune and log with it. So, yep, I'm going to get to it and continue soldering. Alright guys, little update. Uh, it's been a little bit since I last recorded, but this will all just be one video. Pretty much what I'm doing right now is more wiring and... I'm wiring in my gauges. So this is my AEM wideband and the purpose of this is so that I can monitor my air to fuel ratio when I'm tuning. So this is just a simple um, power ground and then a signal that's going to go into the FIC that I can use for logging and stuff. And I don't know if I actually showed this yet but the FIC I have mounted right here for now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change that yet or not. But that kind of depends on if the boost line can make it to here from the engine bay without getting kinked or like squished or anything. So that's air to fuel gauge. And then I took a time lapse of me painting this up to match the rest of the interior that I painted a long time ago. It's just a two pod A pillar gauge. And I don't know, it's a little ricey. Pillar gauges aren't my favorite, but it's quick and easy. And 
it'll give me something to hold the gauges to until I can, you know, do like a custom gauge pod in the center console or something like that. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Uh, it's just kind of like tedious, like same stuff over and over again. And that's why I haven't been really recording. Plus, it's like 16 degrees out. It's so freaking cold. Like, I don't, it makes me want to not do anything. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's snowy here in PA. Um, we got that uh, yesterday. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to keep wiring in the gauges right now. I'm going to do the AM Uego gauge. And then from there, I'll do the boost gauge and oil pressure gauges, which I don't know if I've shown yet, but I'll get to that later. Thank you.